While most of the world is focused on Tesla's flashy Cybertruck or humanoid robots, a quieter revolution may already be underway, one that could end lithium batteries as we know them. Leaks suggest Tesla has been developing a radical new power source, aluminum ion batteries, faster, safer and cheaper than anything in production today. And the first car to feature this tech might not be a luxury roadster, but the ultra-affordable Model 2. But how does this chemistry work? Why is Tesla's version different and what does it mean for the future of EVs? The chemistry shift. For more than a decade, lithium ion has been the beating heart of every Tesla vehicle. It powered the original Roadster, it made the moon Does a global icon, and it remains the standard inside the Model Y, the world's best-selling EV. But lithium ion technology, for all its success, has always carried three burdens, cost, safety, and scarcity. Now, with leaks pointing toward aluminum ion, Tesla may be on the verge of trading those burdens for a completely new set of advantages. To understand why this shift matters, we need to look closely at what makes aluminum ion so different. At its core, the difference lies in chemistry. Lithium ions carry a single positive charge, Li2, while aluminum ions carry a triple charge, alu pupol. This higher charge density means that for every aluminum ion that moves during a charge or discharge cycle, three electrons are transferred instead of just one. The result is more efficient energy transfer, higher current density, and the potential for far greater output from the same physical volume of material. In simple terms, aluminum ions can do more work with less space. That efficiency translates directly into performance. Theoretical calculations suggest aluminum ion anodes could deliver specific capacities up to two 980 milliamp hours per gram. Compare that to graphite anodes in lithium ion batteries, which average around 370 milliamp hours per gram. That's nearly a tenfold leap in potential capacity. For electric vehicles, this means longer range from smaller packs or faster acceleration without needing oversized batteries. But aluminum ion's advantages don't stop at performance. One of the biggest problems with lithium ion is its reliance on scarce and problematic minerals like cobalt, nickel, and manganese. Cobalt alone has seen wild price swings from 30 zero dollars to eighty zero dollars per metric ton driven by geopolitical instability and the fact that much of it is mined in the democratic republic of congo under ethically questionable conditions aluminum by contrast is cheap abundant and widely distributed it trades for roughly two two hundred dollars per metric ton and is mined in over 40 countries, with China, India and Australia leading production. Recycling aluminum is also incredibly efficient, requiring only 5% of the energy it takes to extract it from raw ore. Then we come to the aspect of safety. Much as they might be engineered, lithium-ion batteries are exposed to threats emanating from thermal runaways. Under duress, they can heat up and explode, ignite or very rarely catch fire. Aluminum-ion designs employ ionic liquid electrolytes that are non-volatile and stable below 200 degrees Celsius. They are chemically stable, meaning they will not react violently when damaged. In tests at Stanford University, aluminum-ion cells have been crushed, punctured and shorted without igniting. Even under extreme abuse, they remained cool. For the driver, this means no more worrying, no viral videos of EVs on fire, no fire during the charging process. Charging speed may be the most newsworthy feature of aluminum ion batteries. Tesla's current lithium ion superchargers max out at 250 kilowatts, capable of delivering an 80% charge in about 20 to 40 minutes. Aluminum ion prototypes have exceeded charging rates of one, zero kilowatts for small cells, achieving full charges in under three minutes. When applied to EV packs, this means charging a family car in five minutes or less, which is comparable to filling a gas tank. It would be the last of the psychology barriers for millions of doubting would-be buyers. Durability at last. Lithium-ion batteries typically begin a detectable decline in performance after one, zero, three, zero charge cycles. By contrast, Batteries of the aluminum ion type with advanced carbon nanostructure cathode constructions have demonstrated stability beyond 12, zero cycles at constant capacity loss. This would translate into over 2 million kilometers of driving more than most vehicles will ever last. In effect, it could mean that an electric vehicle battery might outlive the vehicle itself. Together, these facts explain why aluminum ion is being hailed as a possible lithium slayer. 
increased capacity, faster charging, safer chemistry, cheaper materials, and much greater longevity, every box in the EV industry's wish list is checked. But here's the twist. Tesla's aluminum iron isn't just any aluminum iron. Leaks suggest the company has made critical upgrades that set its version apart from anything in a lab or competitor's catalogue. What makes Tesla's aluminum ion unique? If aluminum ion batteries already seem revolutionary, Tesla's rumoured version takes the concept further. Leaks suggest Tesla isn't using an off-the-shelf design, but a custom-engineered system built to dominate the next battery era. One breakthrough is self-healing electrodes. Lithium-ion batteries degrade as electrodes expand and contract during charge cycles, forming microscopic cracks that reduce capacity. Tesla's aluminum ion reportedly uses silicon-aluminum hybrids with polymer coatings that realign at the atomic level. Tiny fractures close automatically, maintaining over 95% of original capacity after thousands of deep cycles versus the 20-30% loss typical in lithium iron. With lifespans exceeding 15 zero cycles, these batteries could last decades. The cell structure also changes. Instead of rigid cylindrical cells like the 2000, 170 or 4680, Tesla appears to be shifting to pouch style soft packs. Laminated multi-layer casings replace heavy metal cylinders, making cells thinner, lighter and more flexible early reports say up to 30 percent lighter and as slim as four millimeters this opens new engineering possibilities flat stacking under the floor wrapping around interior panels or integration into seat bases and door frame for a compact vehicle like the model 2 pouch cells maximize interior space safety is a priority the batteries that Tesla is supposed to be developing are said to be ionic liquid electrolyte based. This would mean non-volatile, low pressure materials that do not swell, combust or rupture. This, coupled with pouch cells, reduces the need for heavy casings, thereby improving energy density and safety. More energy in litres with less weight wasted, Tesla has imagined recycling again. Current lithium-ion recycling depends on energy-demanding smelting or chemical baths that create waste in the process and are expensive. On its aluminum-ion roadmap, Tesla envisions a closed-loop dry process based on vibration, pressure and magnetic separation, recovering metals without producing any toxic byproducts and bringing down recycling costs by 40%. Sustainability is thus built in as an advantage. As volume grows, economics will take care of themselves. On the strategic front, avoiding lithium, cobalt and nickel frees Tesla from vulnerable global supply chains. Lithium prices undergo extreme changes and cobalt is produced in unstable areas. Aluminum, in contrast, is abundant, 